Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. Today is an amazing day because Etsy updated the workflow of our shipping. And I think this is going to be life-changing for handmade sellers. For vintage sellers like me, it's going to be really good for craft supplies. Excellent. For digital, it doesn't really affect us because as soon as somebody gets an order, it's fulfilled. They send the digital copy. So for if you're shipping a physical product, this is an amazing, amazing overview that, of what they've done for us. This is an order that I have. So we're going to start at the order level and things that have changed. Now I get a little pop-up that gives me all the information in one place. First off, I can say, I always do new because I ship out right away. But for you handmade sellers, or if you have a, if you're doing any work on it and you know that you need it to be in progress, you can make this in progress and then show all of your in progress orders. After that, you would mark it complete. So that's going to help your workflow. I know that there are a lot of handmade sellers that have hundreds of orders and kind of managing that is a hard one. These other actions that you can do, you could print out this order, which I know a lot of the girls do. They'll print out their orders. So they'll put it, you know, kind of in a sleeve with the item that they're doing. Update ship by date. This is great if I have a perfect example for this. I ordered a planner cover from a lady who had a pretty long time that she was going to do it. But as soon as I ordered, she said, I was just getting ready to update my order time. It's going to be about 10 weeks instead of six weeks. Is that fine for you? And so, yes, I just said, absolutely, that's fine for me. The nice thing is here, you could update it, at, update, issue a refund if they don't want the updated ship date. So that's awesome. And then unmark as gift. The only thing on my end that really happens when somebody has it marked as a gift is you don't get the pricing and the detail on the page that prints out the, the, oh shoot, of course, I can't remember what it's called right now, but the packing slip. And that is something I wouldn't do because I wouldn't want to accidentally forget and send it in. Here we have the information about our seller. Of course, that's covered up. It also shows what kind of package it has. So this is parcel select ground. It's about three pounds, 15 ounces. And then I would print po push here to go to the regular old shipping label maker area. That is an overview of your detail. Now, let's talk about managing all your orders at once. This, I think, is amazing. So you have overdue ones that will show up here. If you have a long order queue, you could definitely target the ones that are overdue and make sure those get out. This, I think, is fun because when you click on today, you see the ones that have to go out today. I have two days, one to two days set on my shipping time. Today, the first order was done on Thursday, so that would mean I would have Friday and Monday to ship it. The second one was actually ordered today, which is Friday, which would mean I would have Monday and Tuesday because they don't count Saturday and Sunday as shipping days. I won't have anything today or tomorrow. I could absolutely ship them out today or tomorrow, which I'm going to be shipping them as soon as I get done making this video. But then I could look at all of the ones that are available within a week, and those are going to be doing that. And then we have our no estimate, which is, I guess, if you put an, a very extended shipping time or you are waiting for something, maybe you're waiting for something back from your buyer, that could be a reason for that. I love this. Destination, United States or international. The reason why I would like this is my little printing out um, my orders. What I do is I take a screen capture of these orders and I print them out and then two copies. The first copy I cut in half or I cut in however many pieces the orders are and when I package the item, I put it up with the item. So now I know that this is this item. It works especially well when I have a lot of little packages and they're all the same size, but they have different things. So the person's order goes on a slip right by them. And on the other one, I'll mark down the 
weight and the dimensions and I'll circle this. This didn't used to be handy like this to show it. I used to have to write in. It was priority mail. And that way you can absolutely kind of keep track of your orders, process a whole bunch of them at once. I love that. Now back to the United States and international. It's, it's not harder to ship international. You just have to print out your labels a little differently. But I am super careful to make sure on my international orders that I'm getting it as close to that, what I've estimated as possible. I'll give you an example. Say I'm sending a bowl and it is a silver bowl. So it could be damaged in the mail, but most likely won't be. I could put it in a little bit smaller box with a lot of room for it and pay less in international as opposed to maybe in the United States. I might have put it in a little bit bigger box with a little bit more padding. Not to say that I would pack it worse, but I may decide to use peanuts in it that would really, um, you know, cushion it as opposed to using more, more wrap that would maybe make it bigger, right? International, all the problems that you have with your weight or your dimensions are going to be exponential. So if I'm shipping a whole bunch of, and I ship a fair amount of international, if I was shipping international, I would print, I would screen capture those and do those, and then I would screen capture the United States so that I could kind of keep them separate. The channels, Etsy and Etsy Studio. Etsy Studio is going to be the ones for our friends that sell craft supplies, so you may actually, I, I'm not sure why that would make a difference. It doesn't make a difference in my business, but it may make a difference in yours. That toggle is there and then eligible for Etsy shipping. I'm not sure what eligible for Etsy shipping means um, and, and see how they're keeping our options here. You could undo these options and be able to get right back to it. Let's go back to all, all, all. Okay. So mine were in Etsy Studios. That's about what I can see as the updated. This one was marked as a gift. So I need to make sure to be very careful with that. Other than that, everything looks real good. I love this new interface. You would have, oh, here's your in progress. So if you had marked a whole bunch of yours in progress, I don't have that because I'm vintage, but for the handmade, handmade, sellers that would probably really be really good i love this new interface i hope you do too tara jacobson marketing artfully